Hi everybody, my name is Jim Kaskeet and this is Connect with Jim. Now today's question is about children's messages. Yep, some of you are trembling already. Here it goes. Children's messages, what's up with that? Insert white boy hip hop video now. Children's messages, or as I like to call them, the message for all ages. Huh? Huh? See what I did there? Now, I think they're wonderful. I lead them on a semi-regular occasion at my church, and they're a lot of fun. Because I think, really, you have a whole congregation eavesdropping on you. You have permission to do some things methodologically that you can't always get away with when you are, quote, preaching to the adults. When you are creating a space just for young people, whether it's 8-year-olds or 18-year-olds, I've had them both with me at the pulpit at the same time, you can do a lot of unique things. So, when you are giving a children's message, or a message for all ages, or if you aren't, but maybe you think you should start, because it's a great way to invite a broader intergenerational approach to your church on a Sunday, I think you need to be clear of one thing. You are talking with the young people, the young at heart, who come and join you, but the entire congregation is listening. So make sure you talk to these people, talk with them, invite their voice, and direct your voice to them appropriately, but know that you have a larger context eavesdropping on you. So take advantage of that. Say things and do things knowing that the whole room is listening. Versus a sermon, which is kind of the other way around. You are talking to the large room and maybe you have some young kids eavesdropping, which if we actually took that to heart, we might actually change the way we do some preaching. Just saying. So, message for all ages. Have fun.